loves welcome back to my channel so the first thing i want to do in this channel is to tell you to go ahead and watch the pattern cutting of this particular dress if you've not done that but if you've done that just go ahead after the pattern go ahead and cut all your piece as you can see these are all my piece on the table my back and then my front and then the down part of my front so after cutting since this is a chiffon fabric if you're using another fabric you might not need to put interfacing so after cutting i just went ahead and put interfacing in my main piece not the lining this time around so when i'm done doing that i'm going to go ahead and lay it on the table in order of how i'm going to be sewing it so the first place i want to go ahead and touch is these parts here so i want to go ahead and gather this uh, middle part of my center front so if yours is cut just like this you might want to sew it and use the sewing as it gathers so So after gathering, I'm going to go ahead and sew it together like this. So when I'm done sewing, I'm going to go ahead and join it to the down part. So I'm going to pin it to the down part and then I'm going to sew it. So when I'm done, I'm going to join this particular front to one piece of the back and then I will do the same thing on the lining part. So that to make the fabric, the main piece, one uh, piece and then the lining one piece because I want to join it in such a way that it will cover all of it together so that's exactly what i've done here and then i did the same thing on the lining part So after I'm done doing that, I'm going to go ahead and work on my down part. So I went ahead and pick my skirt part and then I used the lining to turn the M line. And then this is like my center front that I open up. So after I turn the M line, I went ahead and iron it. At the front so I will also do the same thing at the back I'll turn the M line first and then I'll iron it so when I'm done doing that to so the front piece and then the back piece of the skirt I went ahead and take a piece of uh, fabric here and then I'm going to fold it into four and then I'll just randomly measure a circle and bring it out what I want to use it to do is just to create a lovely style at the front slit that I actually cut on the skirt part so just follow along in this video so I'm going to show you step by step on how I achieve that So after cutting it, I went ahead and sew it at the M side and then I left this front and then I turn it inside out. After turning it inside out, I get the middle part and then I place it exactly on where my slit is stopping. 
so i'm going to be sewing it on the fabric itself and then i'll use the lining to turn it out so just follow along it will really make sense when it comes together So I use the lining to turn it out and then I snip it and then turn it inside out. This is the time to uh, join my two back side, like two skirts downside to the front side. I don't know if that makes sense. So this is what I actually do in this video. Just make sure you iron this part really really well. Iron it nicely and then let's go ahead and add the back to the front so this is how it turns out as you can see my side is not sewn yet because i want to join it in such a way that there will not be seen a uh, space showing on the wrong side of this dress i don't know if that makes sense and actually this particular fabric actually give me a lot of problem because as you can see it's not good to work with i don't know i'm just not the perfect person to work with whatever it is that has to do with a fabric that is not stable i don't know how to put it i just hope you understand what i mean okay so guys after i'm done doing that i just pin my piece together and then i left my zipper allowance open so that i'll be able to install my zipper easily So guys the hardest part of sewing this dress actually is the zipper installing <laughs> really it was really an answer when i was trying to like put it together but though when you're a pro you're a pro it will definitely come back together so what i did on my upper part is to sew all the openings at the top part first and when i'm done i went ahead snip it turn it inside out give it a good press and then i want to actually put it on to my downside and sew it together if you notice the down part doesn't have a seam allowance i didn't sew the lining to the main fabric so i sewed these upper parts i did not sew the lining to the main fabric so i'll just go ahead fold it get the midpoint align it to the midpoint of the upper part and then i'm going to go ahead line it to line it fabric to fabric if you'll be watching most of my tutorial you will really get the way i do this here this is the way i sew most of my dresses
so far this is what we've come up with so you can see my journey look perfect and then everything seems beautiful so now i am going to go ahead and fix the zipper and then i'll fix the sleeve part so gently step by step one after another just watch the way i fix the zipper i'm just going to go ahead and put it first on the main fabric and then use the lining to turn it around as well so when i'm doing this a, a little bit of trick to it is that if you see the down part of the ammo like the back part of the ammo is not closed so that i'll be able to use that side to turn everything out if it really makes sense if it doesn't make sense i have several videos that this is well explained that i'm going to link down in the description box for you to really understand it All right guys at this point i think i have a dress yes now i can start smiling but you can see it was really an asset trying to like turn this thing out i like turn it out for like two three times before i really get the right way to turn it out really i'm a pro at this thing but this dress i don't So there loves this is like the last thing i want to do to this dress but i just realized that these are all the fabric piece i'm left with so it's like a shocker to me but i like to make do with whatever it is i have so at this point i'm just going to go in and do a very little small sleeve on my dress so just bear with me if you want another sleeve at this point you can go ahead and change it to whatever budget sleeve you you want so this is how i made my sleeve just watch if you want the demonstrations of this sleeve in full i have videos of sleeves 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 different styles of sleeves that i made and i really enjoy making them including this one as well so it's just going to be an off shoulder sleeve because i have minimum uh fabric left so you can see the way i was twisting and turning just to make sure that even if it is just little sleeve i get something to this dress guys it was not really easy So after attaching the sleeve i think we finally have a complete dress when i wore this dress i was super elated because i actually saw her through this dress i don't lie i really go through a lot trying to like make sure this thing really come out perfectly there are times that i really wish let me just leave it and go right ahead but i just thought to myself no i really want to see this thing i want to see it so guys please do subscribe like share and comment Thank you so much for supporting this channel.